So I'm going to start with a little bit of glue. Okay, we're going to see how that um, is going to work here. And the reason why I'm doing that is simply because I don't want to, I don't want this to disconnect from the rest of the nail. I don't want the tip that I've created to disconnect from here. I don't want it to break off, okay? So I'm just um, applying more than a little bit of glue. Actually, um, too much, more than I wanted, but um, just a lot of it came out. So I'm gonna just clean it up. And um, cleaning it up, and then I'm gonna allow that to dry and as it dries I'm going to go ahead and move on with the other nails and start doing the actual fill that you guys have tuned in to this video for. The gels I'll be using as I always use unless um, someone sends me another kind of gel to like as a product review or something. I always use IBD so if when you see my nails you know you don't have to ask it's gonna be IBD why is just I just like the brand um, I've used other brands you guys have seen me use other brands uh, gelish which is good but um, I just go back to IBD um, I have other brands this brand from eBay called Coco it's super super thick builder and it's good but I always go back to IBD. Um, let me see, another brand I have, I don't know, somewhere around here, I have other brands, okay? But I always go back, find my way back to IBD. So the ones I'm gonna work with today are IBD. And, um, sorry about the birds outside, can't um, control them, but IBD, uh, they're all soak ops, I usually use soak ops, and this one is Builder, and so is this one, but it is the uh, blush color gel, which I absolutely love and have been using for a few months now. And I like it because it gives the nails a more natural look. And here is the way that looks. And I'm gonna try, um, I wanna try a nude gel as well or a beige, something like that, but I like the pink a lot, the blush a lot. And here's my um, Silk Off Builder, which is just a clear. And I need some more, so I'll be getting that soon. And what I'm going to do with this broken nail is, and probably with the middle nail, is use the Acro Gel method, just to give it a little bit more strength. Um, because I don't want it to break again so I'm going to add a little bit more strength to that so here we go um, I'm just using a regular gel br gel brush this is a big one this is number six wrong way and I got this from eBay so I'm going to put a paper towel down and I'm not starting with the middle nail I'm just um, I'm gonna start with my thumb because that is the one you guys can see the best on camera in my opinion so I'm just gonna set up and I'll be right back okay so here we are ready to start and I have a little bit of dust on this freaking thumb so I'm gonna just wipe it off again with another one of these lovely wipes from Born Pretty Store and the link to these wipes will be in the description box below if you like to order so I'm just going to start with a little bit of um, dehydrator around the cuticle area that area we filed only And 
I am sure that's enough. And then I'm going to put a little bit of bond there around the same area. Careful to just not get it in the cuticle. All right, you can barely see it, but now it's time to cure. So this kiss is going to cure for 30 seconds. All right, so now it is time to finally start. So I'm just gonna clean my brush off a little bit and wipe it on my paper towel. And um, I'm going to start with the IBD, the clear builder. And I'm just going to get a little bit on my brush. This is one of the major mistakes that I was making in when I first started was getting you too much brush on my uh, too much brush too much gel on my brush and I would have I would always have gel in my in my skin or on my skin so I just start with a little because you could always add okay so it's not a big deal like I said have patience and I'm just super carefully pushing it back into the cuticle and then just going to lightly brush it down and that's it guys so I'm gonna get a little bit more and just cover the rest of the nail basically is when you're doing a fill, you don't want to, you don't want to have thick nails unless that's just your thing. But it's not mine, so you want them to look as natural as possible. See how mine is not thick? Okay, so it, when you're doing a fill, you're gonna do what three, like three of these. You're gonna put gel on like three times maybe and cure. So you don't want to have, you know, three more things of gel on your nail is going to make it higher and higher and higher and oh, it's just going to look not very natural so I'm going to cure this for about a minute I'll be right back okay so I'm going to add another very thin layer of clear and again I have just a little bit on my brush I'm just gonna just start at the back. I have a little bit too much back there. So I'm just pulling it out of the cuticle area. And now I'm just basically painting it down. And that looks pretty good. I have covered the sides. And because I took my time, I don't have anything flooding my cuticle. I have a little bit on the side of the skin, but I really don't care about that. It's super easy to get off. Um, but the cuticle is what I am most concerned about when it comes to uh, getting gel on then I have none, no gel there it's nothing so if you take your time then it's so much better so I'm gonna cure this for a minute and I'll be right back I have cured for a minute now it is time to add the blush builder and I'm going to apply a small or thin coat, just one coat because hopefully now you can see the little tint I have already. Like when I filed them, they look more white, but when um, they're shiny, you can see the little tint that I have on there from my previous um, applications of the gel, the blush gel. So here is 
my bead might be a little bit too much but I'm gonna make this work I think I'm gonna make this work in hopefully and pretty much the same thing you want to um, concentrate on the areas where you need the fill but not overly because you don't want that to get on your cuticle on your skin and try not to um, lose too much contact with your brush. You don't want bubbles in your nails. So I think I have filled the cuticle area in pretty well. Looks like it to me. looks pretty good and now I'm just holding it down so that because it's self levels so I'm just gonna hold it down a little bit and that looks really really nice I have oh, a bit of a something here quite know what that was all right that looks really nice I think so I'm gonna go ahead and do my final cure for my top coat for two minutes All right, so after cleaning that tacky layer off, um, doesn't really need much buffing, but I'm gonna do a little bit of buffing. I'm just gonna use my little ratty uh, pink buffer here. And just do a light buff. And that's just to ensure that my surface is smooth when I apply my top coat. Sometimes there are dips and bumps and things that we can't see necessarily or miss um, sometimes. And um, so this takes care of that. Just make sure that you have a smooth surface. And also if you, of course, want to uh, shape your nails a different way or they need to be shaped the, the shape needs to be adjusted any kind of way then this is where you would do that I think I have done enough and now I'm going to use my white block buffer and really smooth it out and don't forget about the edge okay that looks pretty good so I'm gonna wipe it off again I should have used a clean, I swear you use a clean wipe, you guys. Don't use the same one. Again, you can get these at bornprettystore.com. Link is below. All right. So this is how the nail looks. And I'll go ahead and top coat this at the end when I top coat the other nails. But that's pretty much how I do a fill. You can see my natural nail underneath the growth. I've had these on for, this is going to be uh, my fourth week, I think, third week. I don't know. Um, I have, I've had a lot of stuff going on, so don't quite remember. But 
this is my fill as you can see I covered the cuticle area very nicely it's a little bit of skin but I am good to go definitely um, looks a lot better than my other nails you know compared to the other nails you can tell the difference right a look at my nails and my repair uh, I think it has come out pretty good you can see a little bit where the damage was done to the gel nail uh, again it is not my nail that is cracked it is the gel uh, but I think it looks pretty good considering how um, damaged it was so I applied a total of three coats of gel, two of the clear, one of the pink or the blush, and um, filed and buffed them. And now I'm ready for the top coat and I am using IBD Intense Seal. This is a non-wipe uh, top coat, so I'm just going to apply that and I will be all done after curing this for um, I think the bottle says two to three minutes so I'm gonna do probably two minutes Okay guys, I am all done with the fill of this hand. I have not done the other, but I think these turned out pretty good. And that is how I do my fills every time now. And I think the repair of this middle finger here turned out pretty well. Um, it was the best I could do without removing, soaking off the entire um, gel and starting a new nail which I did not want to do because um, these are just sculpted they're um, extensions they're not tips so I did not want to do that um, you know it takes a while and I don't have the energy um, today so I was glad I'm able to save it at least for a couple of more weeks yeah, it doesn't move or anything, just like the others. So it seems like it's pretty strong. Um, so yeah, with the glue and the gel, um, the curing of the gel and everything, I think it's going to work out. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you found this video helpful if you had questions. And um, that's about it. Thank you. Um, and check out the link below um, about the... Um, wipes that I was telling you about from Brand Pretty Store.
Amazon.com. Again, here is the um, item number. I think that is the item number. Let me double check for you guys really fast. And um, so I can be sure that I want to give you a number that is incorrect. It is, uh, yeah, 375. I think I said 3752. So 375. And I think right now they're $1.99 and you get 100 pieces. So you can't beat that, right? Uh, but as you can see, I have, um, I use these all the time. Um, even when I'm not doing gel nails, um, I like these. I like to wipe my nails, um, like manicures and stuff. I like to keep clean my nails with this. So, um, so yeah look for the link below for that and that's about all I'm so glad I was able to get through this video you guys you guys just don't know but thanks for watching thanks for subscribing to all of my new subscribers thank you and I will see you in the next video bye